Hello everybody, and welcome to our Python lesson. Today, we're going to create our own custom primitive, a sector of a cylinder, which we will use later in our projects. To do that, we'll write a method that can cut a sector out of a cylinder. Here is the plan. We create a box, rotate it to align with the sector's end angle, and cut it out from the cylinder. After cutting the first sector, we update the end angle to match the new edge and repeat the subtraction using the new angle. After each cut, we adjust the end angle to follow the new edge. We repeat this process until the remaining sector angle is smaller than 90 degrees. Then, we will use a little trick. We create a box and rotate it by the remaining sector angle. Next, we create a second box and subtract the first one from it. This gives us the exact shape of the sector that's left to cut out. All we need to do now is rotate this shape to the start angle and subtract it from the cylinder. The remaining part will be used as the shape we cut from the main body. We will wrap this logic into an extension method using self. Alright. Time to write some code. Let's start with the helper methods. The first one will be subtract. Here, we'll wrap the standard plant 3D subtraction method, but upgrade it to handle a list of bodies. This way, we don't have to call the method separately for each body. We can subtract them all at once in a clean and reusable way. As you can see, Copilot AI is helping me write the code. I'm just applying it row by row and making corrections when needed. The key here is to be patient and make sure we don't miss anything important. Next, we'll also wrap up the rotation methods for the X, Y, and Z axes. Again, with Copilot helping out, this saves us a lot of time. You see? We just made the first method for the X axis. And actually, Copilot managed to generate the other two for Y and Z all by itself. That's the beauty of using AI to speed up repetitive tasks. Good. Now, let's move on and create the main method to cut the sector. We'll call it cut underscore sector. As parameters, we'll need the radius of the sector, the height, the start angle, and the end angle. First, we create the base, a cylinder from which we'll cut out the pieces, until we reach the desired sector shape. We'll call this base object simply sector. Then, I check if the start angle is somehow greater than the end angle. If that happens, I simply adjust it by subtracting 360 degrees. Next, we calculate the angle of the sector. And then we start the loop, checking that this angle is greater than 90 degrees. As long as it is, we'll keep cutting out chunks of the cylinder step by step. To do that, we create a box, let's call it cut box. Then, we rotate it to align with the current end angle of the sector. This box will be used to slice off a piece of the cylinder. In the loop, we lower the angles by 90 degrees and take away the cut box from the sector. We keep doing this until it's done. Now, two situations can happen. If the sector angle was exactly divisible by 90 degrees, we're done. But if not, there's a small part left, less than 90 degrees, to cut out. Let's handle that next. Remember, at the start, we said, we need a special shape to cut the last part. Wait. Small correction here. There's no need to move the cut box down. Now, create the second cut box. Rotate it by the remaining sector angle. And subtract it from the first box. That gives us the final shape we need to cut from the cylinder.
so the last thing to do. Take this final sector we just made. And subtract it from our main body using. Self. Dot. Subtract. Sector. And finally, return self. That's it. Our sector cutting method is ready. Now let's use it to start building our custom primitives. So, the first class we're going to build is the cylinder sector. for watching and staying with us. We're getting closer and closer to building our very first custom support. See you in the next video.